In this video we will be taking a look at what you can do to fix Roblox unexpected error on your Windows computer. So the first thing that you're going to want to do is ensure that your Windows is up to date. We can do this easily by right clicking on the start menu icon, going to settings and then simply clicking on update and security and then clicking the check for updates button. If Windows does detect a new update then allow Windows to download and install those updates once they've finished restart your computer and then try launching Roblox again. So instead of me keep saying try launching Roblox again, after doing every method in this video, once you've done the method, then obviously try and launch Roblox and see if it resolved the issue. So the next thing that you're going to want to do is also make sure you have the latest driver installed for your graphics card. So if you're not sure what graphics card you have, you can right click on the start menu icon, go to device manager, and you will then be able to expand display adapters and it will tell you what graphics card you have in your computer. So I've got an RTX 4060 and it's an Nvidia graphics card. So I would need to go to the Nvidia website and download the latest driver for the RTX 4060 and then install it and then run Roblox again and see if that helped. So I will pop some links in the description below if you're not sure how to update your graphics card and those links will help show you how to do this. So I will pop links for Nvidia, Intel and AMD. So now that you've updated Windows and updated your graphics card and you're still having issues with Roblox not working, the next thing that you're going to want to do is open up a program called Easy Game Utility. So this program is actually designed by myself and made by myself. So the program looks like this. To get the program all you need to do is click on the link that's in the description below to go to our website, scroll all the way to the bottom and you will then be able to download the portable version or if you want you can install the setup file version. So once you've got Easy Gaming Utility you now want to go across to network and here we got a few different options. So the first thing that we're going to do is click on clear DNS cache files, once we've done that again Go ahead and launch Roblox again and see if that helped. If that didn't, then click on the reset network adapter. You will then need to restart your computer and then try Roblox again. So once you've restarted Windows, if doing those network options there didn't help, then the next thing that you're going to want to do is click on the fix tab. So for the free version, you can have free attempts at fixing Roblox. If you purchase the pro version, which is currently on a special offer for $2.99, you will see the banner actually on our website there, $2.99. You can purchase that and you will get unlimited attempts. So I've got two attempts left. And what you can do is click on attempt fix. And what this is going to do is run through a few different troubleshooting methods, things that I'd normally show in videos and stuff like that. And it's going to attempt to fix Roblox. And straight away you can see now it's launched Roblox and it's resolved the issue that was stopping Roblox from working on my computer. So at the moment, this button is only for the web browser version of Roblox. So if you're using that version, then obviously use this button to help fix Roblox. And like I said, if you purchase the pro version, you can have unlimited attempts. If using Easy Gamer didn't help resolve the issue, then the next thing that we're going to want to do is open up the start menu. And you now need to type in internet. And we then need to type options. If you see internet options, then just select this option. You then need to go across to connections and you then need to click on LAN settings. So you need to ensure that you do not have this option here selected under proxy server and also make sure you have automatically detect settings ticked. Then click on OK and OK again. If you did have to change the setting there then go ahead and try Roblox again. If that didn't help then the next thing that you want to do is unplug all the devices that are currently plugged into your computer. So if you've got a controller plugged in, speakers, a USB stick, anything like that, unplug everything. Just keep your keyboard and mouse plugged in only. Once you've done that, go ahead and launch the game again and see if that helped. If it didn't and you have other programs on your computer running while trying to launch Roblox, then close these down as well, as they could be conflicting with the game, causing it to crash. So let's say you have a web browser open, Discord, um, any other type of music player, anything like that, close it all down and then try launching Roblox again. If you're using the Microsoft Store version of Roblox, then you need to right click on the start menu icon 
and then go to apps and features. You then need to click and search this list and type Roblox. You then need to find the Roblox store app version. So obviously I've got a few different versions here, but you will then see an option that says advanced options. So select Roblox, click on advanced options. You then need to scroll down and click on terminate and you then need to click on repair. Once this is finished and it's got a tick, go ahead and try and launch Roblox again and see if it resolved the issue. If it didn't, then the next thing that you need to do is click on reset and then reset again. Obviously allow the repair to finish before clicking on reset. Now try Roblox and see if it helped. If you're using the web version of Roblox and it's not working, then try using the app version, so the Microsoft Store version of Roblox. If you're using the store version, then try using the web browser version of Roblox. So that does now bring me to the end of this video. I will also pop a link in the description below to a guide that I have done, which will have more methods on it if I can think of any more to add that you can use to fix Roblox. And like I said, definitely check out Easy Game Utility as I will constantly keep updating that with more ways of resolving other issues with games as well. So if you like this video, click the like button below. And if you want to see more Computer Sluggish videos, then click that subscribe button. If you do subscribe, then I will see you in the next video.